Well, you know, the marketing strategy behind Four Roses really began, we might as well say back in 1888 when Paul Jones Jr. trademarked the brand through the Midas Book of Records and started hawking Four Roses whiskey around the country. Uh, at one time he had a sign in Madison Square Garden that was lighted, which was really ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. And uh, that stayed up there for a number of years. And then in about, right after Prohibition, right about 19, somewhere in 1935, 1938, they put a sign up in Times Square that was called the Times Square Spectacular. And that was lighted and it blinked on and off. It grew roses up the side with vines and rose petals. And then it would blink on and say, Four Roses blink off and when it came back again it would say a truly great whiskey and that stayed up there until the end of World War II and if you ever see that picture by Eisenstadt of the nurse and the sailor at the end of the war uh, if you get an uncut version of it you'll see the Four Roses sign up there so that stayed up there till 1945 and then it went down they had uh, other advertising campaigns like eggnog at, at the Yuletide season. And that started in the 1930s. And what they would do was they would run that ad every Christmas. And families, and we still get letters about that as well, got that old recipe out of the magazine. They made the eggnog. Then they would put the magazine in their family cookbooks and keep it and do it year after year.